Seth, Seth always finds uh, a strange game that I never heard. <laughs> yes, domain expansion. But yeah, Seth always finds these strange <laughs> games that I'm not sure about, but are interesting. Like, I want to give them a try, but I also don't have the money, usually. Domain expansion. Homeless Fist. Hey, hey, disciples. Homeless Fist. Here. Domain expansion. Homeless Fist. Captivated me for the past oh. many days. The Matchless the Kung Fu is an immersive okay. sim that shows what, what life would be like okay. if every man... <laughs> My God. ...and woman and child was trained in the martial arts. That is to say... <laughs> Uh, life would not last very long. This game takes place Probably. in the genre of wuxia. This is Chinese sword fantasy fiction, yeah. but a little more grounded. I've had to, I like I've said before, I have tried to read some of those novels. They are dense, and barely anything happens in them. They're usually following the same story beats. Than some I've covered in the past. The game works like mm. this. You play a... Okay, that was... That screen right there, I actually saw that from one of Raikoi's, like, watching a movie stream. That was a bit of... Big trouble in little Chinatown, I think. World simulation, where everyone has their own desires and motivation, which you expand by putting down plots of land. These are pre-made areas containing a challenge. If you finish mm. an objective, you can place more land, and you keep going until, inevitably, a Shaolin master breaks oh. your spine. <laughs> You're not expected to win from the first or second try. The actions you took in a past life will influence the next through karma, and oh, you're boy. not expected to understand any of this. That's why I don't have to explain to you why I began my journey, drop kicking roosters, and <laughs> playing with a family dog. <laughs> He's fighting a dog. <laughs> Uh, he's no, fighting a horse right now. What the hell? Fable, do you understand any of this? No. You no, have an incredibly not. elaborate system of oh, rock, God. paper, scissors that is combat is because the tutorial went over my head, fist. but I... Oh my god. He said homeless fist. Knowledge non -verbally. And finally, I know like what I said. said. What the hell is that? Is that if a I dragon? A complete demigod with perfectly harmonized meridians. I can confidently tell you, I have no idea what's going on. For <laughs> being the product of RNG, my first Chinaman turned out looking okay. My very oh my first quest was to get fine. shit out of wine-stealing monkeys. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> wine stealing monkey yes he's <laughs> having a kung fu fight with a monkey animals can be tamed abilities uh, vary <laughs> between animals but for the monkey this was begging <laughs> the monkey can beg for money which infuriates the local <laughs> beggar as i'm taking away from his local business in this game beggar is a profession <laughs> and just like doctors operate clinics beggars operate churches i was driven away wait what that doesn't seem right then had to beg downhill instead then I yeah monkey steal wine is that an actual thing Got a quest to deal with some bandits. No problem, I thought, until I saw they were two women who could kill just by breathing on me. Luckily, yeah. yeah. Basically, if you want to really know a city, you ask the beggars and the, and basically give them some money for information because they see and hear everything. Objective wasn't to defeat them, just burn down mm. the camp. This was very it was easy because they took several place, maps while I, I don't was... know where exactly, but due to the tourism and how many people leave their alcohol at trains unattended a bunch of monkeys basically <laughs> got used to the alcohol so they actively <laughs> literally steal people's drinks now <laughs> uh, a bunch of monkeys getting drunk doing so only yeah they're mean drunks by the way they are very mean <laughs> very mean drunks so they left and started harassing the locals as oh. it turns out one of the bandits had the charitable perk which meant that she would rob the local store beat up the <laughs> owner and donate all her savings directly to my monkey i made <laughs> a lot of money from the <laughs> bandit monkey pipeline and directly by monkey very <laughs> the bandit monkey pipeline <laughs> Yeah, Chinese monkeys are weirdly mean drunks. I got one arm. They get his claw into my arm. Once. Hey, oh, that wasn't. stinks. And the store owner was dead on the floor. Oh, no. I realized oh. I had to do something, or I was going to lose a lot more NPCs. I lured oh. the two bandits into a non-lethal sparring competition. Oh. Broke their strength, they <laughs> rested, and jumped them again before they could recover. This bumped up my reputation, and I was offered a selection of different schools of martial arts. Oh. Naturally, I chose to join the drunken sect. Not only did I get a bunch of skills that are simple enough that even I can reliably combo, I also got informed that I had a secret admirer. Who? Oh. May I ask? Well, the person telling me. And just like <laughs> that, I had a significant other. She sleeps what? on the floor. Sorry, honey. The bed is reserved for me and the monkey. As we lay together <laughs> and pick lice out of each other's hair, our bo- Oh my <laughs> god. On strength. <laughs> Following the cultivation bed is only reserved for me and the monkey. Oh, yeah. 
don't make much sense. I, I've seen it. It's literally just the same thing. A lot of it doesn't bid make on sense. Rare, inexpensive items. Every time someone makes a bid for an item or increases their bid, the other guests become more jealous. If you let this oh. play out in the background in its entirety, everyone who went to the auction is going to see things with hatred and will try to kill every other attendee. In this game, you don't get stronger from fighting. Oh, he's fighting a wolf. Connecting shapes in the right order to activate inner kung fu. In my case, however, uh, I got alcohol immunity. I didn't understand the value of this until I sat down for a drink and oh saw god a small uh, option to make a toast i could what oh god drink someone under the table and when they're passed out i could kidnap their body and rob them blind which is <laughs> exactly what i did for the next hour until everyone was running around in sub-zero temperatures in boxer shorts putting down enough normal plots let's are actually chinese health things special what? plots such as towns soon as i entered it's related to chinese medicine oh that's what you mean started bickering because one had slept with the other's wife oh. i intervened against infidelity but a little <laughs> too strongly because he was now dead i sat down at the bar to continue my drunken robbery when the same woman who committed adultery tried to seduce me on what my beloved i rejected her advances so she threatened to kill me if i said no and she did because wow. she's got 12k vigor so i reloaded and tried to beg for forgiveness instead she let me off lightly by breaking my legs the irony oh, wow. of the situation is that she owned the town clinic and would help treat my crippling disability the next day i lived a good life i trained oh. hard and despite that i am surrounded by sociopaths who <laughs> kill me on a whim that's very that's normal in wushu novels actually that people will just kill you on a whim and like the and basically ah someone threw a grenade at me and like taking a small slight is like breaking your spine like, oh, I will forgive you, then breaks your spine. But in Wushu novels, that's actually healable. This place. I'm gonna go parkour across water. Going far north in the map is how you get captured and imprisoned. This is oh. not a bad thing. This is how you unlock your second and third character slots. As said before, you're not meant to win on the first try. Or rather, oh. you're not the main character. The protagonist of this story is your ancestors. Oh. Everything on power levels. Everything is about vigor, which is how much punishment you can take. No matter how good you are at finessing the combat and exploiting meridians, your starting character's vigor will cap off at around 2k. So for reference, at your nope. absolute peak, you are now. half as strong as a giant toad. Oh. How do we remedy this? Genetics. Much like a trailer park is much more of a gene pond than a gene pool. <laughs> your choice of- I don't need to hear that partner has consequences on your child's pedigree. You need to choose the right China man Mission or China woman to chintigrate into your lineage. Your court death, every enemy yells, pretty much. If you're the offspring of a sect leader, you're born with 2k extra vigor. That's nice, but we need to go even harder. There are many okay. myths, many legends. Oh, he's fighting another wolf again. used to nipple cripple each other. If you're what? not familiar, that's where you grab both nipples and twist painfully, usually in the changing oh. room when they're most vulnerable. <laughs> until one fuck? of our friends told us that's how a kid got nipple cancer. What the he hell? Got nipple crippled too often, and it became a tumor. We knew the story was bullshit, but we were scared, and we never did it again. Similarly, yeah. I heard tales of people hitting 30k vigor, and I think I know how. Some call it intuition. I call it reading a guide on Steam. Karma okay. objectives you complete during life that allow you to take different blessings in the next. Our objective for Steam Birthright requires the following. 30 lovers, 30 grudges, or a million gold. Gold what the is hell? out of question, so I went with 30 grudges instead. For reference, the worst thing you can do to someone is destroying their kung fu. Understandably, beating someone so hard they forget how to move they call it a dual cultivation. oh yeah that's also a thing in some of those wishes so you also follow their answer and following out what it is also cultivation having sex increases your power it's called dual cultivation at Good first God. that was non-lethal and just battled people stole their kung fu and locked them in a cage this got oh. problematic very quickly i would imprison someone's mother so their daughter would show up and start breaking the cage from outside trying to rescue <laughs> oh her. so God. i would knock her out put her in another cage <laughs> only to see the mother try to break out from inside to rescue her daughter everyone started bonding over their shared predicament became friends and tried to make a prison break eventually it was too much so i had to start taking heads all i wanted oh. was 30 enemies but it seems now i'm going to need 30 body bags <laughs> this was a problem because i couldn't keep track of the people i killed and their relations to one another i accidentally killed off someone's parent only to find out their daughter had 12k vigor and was chasing me across the land i died oh, several times and had to reload the only way i was going to survive was by friendship and paying the master of my sect a thousand gold to beat the shit out of her as i took her head i realized 
Why do I even need this karma quest when I have a small army that can finish the entire game? There are no words to describe the experience of combat when your fights are stacked 20 against 1. Oh. Except incredibly fair. I thought I was invincible, but I flew too close to the sun. You see, slowly, over time, my army kept taking internal injuries, but their AI wouldn't mm. let them go to a clinic for treatment, and I didn't pay attention. Oh Suddenly, God. some of them died, which caused their friends to blame me for their death, which forced me to fight them. But then, they oh. died, and my other companions attacked me. My failure cascade was out of control, and I died at the hands of my own men. I thought I was girl boss. Oh my the God, they're attacking. Truth, He's having a fight with a chicken. A boss baby. I looked back on the footage to figure out exactly where it all went wrong, and surprisingly, it wasn't inflicted in Injuries. No, what happened was I ate shit to see what happens. What? I the animation, and I thought it was really funny. However, my dysentery gave me a stack of poison gas. Oh dear God! Oh God! Contact. My army was exclusively in close contact. Oh so my God! The cause of death of everyone and myself included was my own excrement. But it turned out I made enough enemies in this life that I finished yeah, my karma that's quest. Why I know. Pristine birthright gives you the single biggest power spike in the game, if you can actually use it. If I could figure it out, I'm sure you can too. In case you do this yourself, I found out I didn't actually need grudges, and I could have just marked 30 people as enemies. Turns oh. out, force-feeding people shit, gouging out their eyes, and repeatedly breaking their legs <laughs> was completely unnecessary. It says a lot more about myself. My unscrupulous actions would come to oh haunt me for my third character, as I start with ill fate, which means oh. I'm more likely to be struck by lightning. I oh. try to cheese the system by praying for rain and speed running life. Unfortunately, lightning only cooks you, so I tried dying to bandits. They refused to kill me as well. Instead, they put me in a cage and went to sleep. Occasionally, they would wake up and poison me before going back to sleep. Oh my also god. failed to kill me. Frustrated, I ran to the Forbidden Palace, which is this game's version of a government. This okay. is staffed by people who are referred to as an incomplete person, who are missing uh? their precious treasure. This is a very Chinese way of saying they lost their penis. I could what? go on to explain how dynasties <laughs> fought this would prevent nobles and public officials from seizing power because they couldn't produce children. That is but actually I, a thing, yes, that did happen. I digress. Anyway, <laughs> you do a the talk the water. I was promptly executed, and it was all for nothing because my negative karma was still there. Also, I found out Groin Kick has a chance to permanently crush your balls. Do <laughs> this information as you will. So, I made my fourth and final character, Supreme Genetics. Excellent karma. And you know what he does with it? Nothing. Because I unlocked Beast Tongue and can now tame infinite oh. monkeys. Now, I have complete monopoly <laughs> in the entire begging sector. This game is undeniably what early the hell? access. The translations can range from English to absolutely <laughs> esoteric, but the gameplay is so intuitive that I never felt like I was missing out. There is one exception to this. It's called Verbal Duels and they're completely insane. <laughs> this is the equivalent of an online debate, where oh. the objective is to mentally break your opponent. Instead of vigor, you use spirit, and depleting someone's spirit will put them in hysteria. And hysteria can lead to death. This uh, game what? lets you troll someone to death. It's really hard to say which <laughs> oh single is on the back the of a chicken. broke me. Was it the time I went oh to the God. clinic for a broken leg, only for the doctor to forcibly throw me outside because it was one minute past his bedtime. <laughs> or was it my wife screaming at me for having an affair? As I have no option to explain to her that I have no relation to this giant black serpent. <laughs> and it only holds feelings of intimacy for me because I implanted it with a love parasite. What? Since writing these lines, my world got flooded. I tried to swim more and got eaten by a great white shark. This came out of nowhere, so it scared the shit out of me. This was the worst jump scare I've ever had. I got crinkles in my diapy and was very afraid. So I'm giving this game a zero out of 10. In all seriousness, if you're willing to put up with a lot of bad translations and want a sandbox where you can live out your power fantasy uh, of killing yeah. everyone with your bare hands, then I thoroughly recommend it. For the price they're asking, I definitely got my money's worth. It's pleasant, it's charming, and there's a lot to explore that I haven't had the time to cover. Uh, As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. This video didn't take that long. Many of That's my videos hear. take very long, and even longer as time went by. Decision paralysis corrodes every content creator. Yeah, it's hard to make decisions on stuff, which is why if I've ever become a big, big YouTuber, I'm just, well, not only reactions, but we're going to make uh, comic stuff where I make video comics and whatnot. It can happen. But yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
we're going to move on from this in a second. However, my autism then. has been cured. Thank you, Lexapro. And most what? of all, thank you, Allah, for your glorious blessings each day. I have a couple of this year. I got bills to pay, but I hope to make up for it with a garbage quality you know and expect. A warm thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys later. Have fun.